years ago, state lawmakers passed what were supposed to be new cutting edge privacy protections into law, but it didn't end up doing a whole lot to change how people's data was collected and shared. Some of the same people who pushed for that law argue we need Prop 24 to finish the job, plugging what they see as loopholes exploited by the tech companies. Prop 24, though, is opposed by some big-time privacy advocates, most notably Public Citizen and the ACLU, but another consumer watchdog supports it. The first thing to know about Prop 24 is that it is beefy. The text of the proposed new law stretches 52 pages long, and it isn't an easy read. That's part of why this ballot question is dividing old allies, according to Wired Magazine's excellent piece, which explains that Prop 24's convoluted language has led to sharply different opinions about what the initiative would actually do, whether in crucial respects it would expand consumer privacy or restrict it. One leading group on digital privacy, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, even took a neutral position on Prop 24, calling it a mixed bag of partial steps backwards and forwards. The details matter, and we don't have time to cover them all in this video, but I can tell you that Prop 24 would create new rights for online users to limit the sharing of their data and to correct inaccurate personal data. Prop 24 would also set new penalties for privacy violations by tech companies and create a brand brand new $10 million state agency to enforce the rules. Supporters say those are all things worth doing right now. Opponents say we should allow more time to work out the kinks with that law the legislature passed two years ago. Right now, you're the lawmaker on this issue. A yes vote adopts the 52-page overhaul of state privacy laws and enforcement. A no vote rejects them.